new sunscreen day. <laughs> I have been getting dry patches here, up here, and here from that sickness, from being sick a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna try out the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Sunscreen SPF 30. This is all chemical, but I need some moisture. So I'm gonna use this as my moisturizer this morning. I'm gonna take it off the lid. You guys do that? Always do the lid first. I hate jar sunscreen, that's weird. I guess they're wanting to make it seem more like a, a um, moisturizer. Okay, hopefully it won't, well, well it shouldn't be white because it's um, chemical, right? Oh, guess I've been working out this morning. Got on the elliptical for 30 minutes and slow. After not working out for two weeks from being sick, it is a slow process. I did wash my face beforehand. I did not put any moisturizer on because this is very moisturizing. It has a slight scent. I'm gonna put two layers of this on. I'm gonna go drop my son off at school. And then I will be back. I'm not gonna put this around my eyes because I don't know if this is gonna sting. I'll put a different sunscreen on my eyes. I mean, it looks glowy because it's a moisturizer and it hasn't sunk in, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm home. What do we think about the finish? It's glowy, but it's not the glowiest. It's definitely dried down. I'd say it's been about 30 minutes since I put it on 25. Feels like it's it's um, formed the film it's supposed to. I'm gonna go get myself ready for the day, put some makeup on top, on top of it. I'm getting my hair done today, which I'm super excited about. So I will check back in with you either in two hours or after I get my hair done. <laughs> we'll see. But usually when I get my hair done, they like wash part of the sun makeup and sunscreen off. So we'll see. Look at that beautiful, look at that little flower. I've got a little, it's a little flower. Okay, bye. All right, I have my full face of makeup on and I've got the Kiehl's on and it is looking fantastic under my Misha BB cream foundation and powder and all that. So I am not a girl who likes a glow. This does have a moisturized healthy glow, but it's not the glowiest. It's not like galaxy, galaxy kinship glow. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, I just moisturized my face glow. Could I go get my hair? cut and colored and I'll check back in with you and let you know how um, how it's doing after two hours of wear time. Getting ready to go into my hair appointment but I wanted to touch base with you because I'm not happy with the amount of glow that is popping through. I've been sitting out here in the humidity and I know I needed moisture today but I'm not happy with the glow. It's extra glowy. And I feel like extra glow always accentuates my textured areas, which I have a lot of going on right there. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm back. She always does such a good job. This is the, no, this is the second time. The second time I've gone to this hairstylist. I think it looks so good. I loved it. But she washed off all the perimeters of my sunscreen. So let me tell you how I did. Still, it looks a little greasy. Moisturizing, I think this is a great sunscreen for someone with dry skin or dry patches like I had, because I got, I got zero dry patches going on right now. I'm gonna reapply. <laughs> because my Apple Watch is telling me that it is a UV of five outside right now. It is lunchtime, I'm gonna go find some lunch. I'm gonna put this all over my face. All right, what you'll see next are my final thoughts. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here, and I've just discovered that I am covered in yellow pollen, and I need to clean the back porch because it's so thick, it's like blowing off in dusty chunks. You've just finished watching my wear test and review. I have been wearing this for off and on for about two weeks. I got the Kills Ultra Facial Cream SPF 30, 1.7 fluid ounces, in my Sephora Sun Kit last year of 2022. And I noticed it's also in the 2023 kit as well, so I have a second bottle. This one surprised me. What I loved about this was I had some dry patches from being sick, 
as you saw. It did fantastic at moisturizing those dry patches. I didn't have to use an extra moisturizer, so it saved me a step in the skincare care routine. I also love that it was cooling. Well, not really cooling, cooling, but like refreshing. <laughs> It felt refreshing after doing a workout to just put this on my face afterwards. It felt so nice. And that's probably because it says it has extracts, extracts of glacial, glycoprotein, and fountain plant, if that means anything. This comes in at $38 on the Sephora website in the full size, 1.7 fluid ounces. There's no white cast because it is all chemical sunscreen. And I would recommend this for people with combination dr to dry skin. This is interesting. There's a story behind the sunscreen. Through ultra facial cream, Kills was honored to lend support and protection from the elements to the heroic team of the Greenland First Ascent Expedition. The six explorers completed the first ever ascent of Greenland's ice covered peaks on May 30th of 2005. Well, there you go. It helps with dryness and prevents against the elements. I'm impressed. Okay, the glycoprotein that I talked about before is a, a, an ingredient specific blend to kills that can withstand extreme cold. The fountain plant helps skin maintain its natural moisture reserves. It also has squalene, which supports skin's natural moisture balance to keep it soft and supple. And the sunscreen UV filters are avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. This does also have orange peel oil, lemonine, hyaluronic acid, linalol, and peppermint oil. So there are some essential oils in here, and the peppermint is probably what I'm filling on my skin. It does have a slight scent of real peppermint leaves. For that reason, I did not put it around my eye area. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen, and if you have dry skin, this might be the perfect one for you.